The Tibetan Spaniel is a breed of small and assertive dogs that originated in Tibet. They're known for their intellect, easy care coat, and the desire to keep watch over their family from higher perches in the house. Tibbies, as these dogs are affectionately called, are happy and playful little companions. And most importantly, they're extremely loyal pets of the family. Now without further ado, let's start our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Tibetan Spaniels. Number 1. Their Origin the Tibetan Spaniel is an ancient breed from Asia. Depiction of these small dogs with pushed-in faces and lion-like coats date back to centuries in China and Tibet. It's believed that Buddhist monks, known as lamas, bred these little dogs to sound the alarm if anyone approached the lama's tree. With the rough of thick fur around their neck and the richly plumed tail, they look just like little lions. Well, lions, in fact, have a great significance in Buddhist symbology. They're said to represent Buddha's triumph over violence and aggression, so dogs like Tibbies were loved and treasured because of their lion-like appearance. These guys were frequently given as gifts to ambassadors and other notables, and this is how the breed made its way to the courts of China and Japan. There, they were interbred with other small Asian dogs such as Japanese Chin and Pekingese. During the 19th century, the first Tibetan Spaniel was brought to England by Mrs. McLaren Morris. More of these guys arrived in the 1920s because of the courtesy of Dr. Agnes R. H. Grieg, who sent some of the dogs to her mother. This is when the breed gained some popularity in England and in 1960, England's Kennel Club recognized the breed. Number 2. Their Story in the US There's quite a story on how Tibetan Spaniels came to be in America. The first known litter in the United States was born in 1965 to parents imported from Tibet by a person called Mr. Harrington. But the real thanks goes to Leo Kearns, sexton of Trinity Lutheran Church in New Haven, Connecticut, because of whom the Tibetan Spaniel began attracting notice in the area. Kearns had a tibby puppy and his parishioners were quite taken with her. He then imported a male and the puppies that the two dogs produced were soon placed in doting homes. Among those enthusiastic new owners was Mrs. J. Child, who made it her mission to see the breed established in the US. As a result, the Tibetan Spaniel Club of America was founded in 1971 with Child as president. Eventually, the American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1984. Number 3. They're technically not Spaniels Tibetan Spaniels don't share any common ancestry with the traditional Spaniel breeds, most of which were bred to be gun dogs. The misnomer Spaniel in this case is believed to have come from the French word Epagnuel, which in the Middle Ages referred to a companion dog and comforter loved by the women of European and Oriental courts. Some sources also claim that Tibetan Spaniels picked up the name because of their resemblance to the lap dog versions of the Spaniel. Number 4. Their Physical Characteristics Tibetan Spaniels are a small dog breed that falls in the toy group. At first glance, they bear a slight resemblance to the Pekingese, to whom they are closely related. But if you take a closer look, you'll find that the Tibbies have a slightly longer snout with a less pronounced underbite and eyes that don't protrude as much as their Chinese cousins. Tibetan Spaniels typically stand about 10 inches at the withers and can weigh anywhere from 9 to 15 pounds. They also have a rounded head with white expressive coffee bean eyes, blunt snout with a slight underbite and pendant ears. One of this breed's most distinctive features is the thick mane around their neck that has earned them the nickname the Little Lion. Another interesting characteristic of the Tibetan Spaniel is that their thick double-coated fur can come in any solid color or any known color pattern and combination. Number 5. Their Personality and Temperament Tibetan Spaniels are known for their stubbornness and unique sensitivity. These dogs don't do well with obedience training but will eagerly be compliant with the right owner that touches their heart and makes them feel loved. In return, they seem to be capable of reading their owner's moods and they'll offer comfort when their favorite human is sick or upset. While their moods can range from playful to obstinate and just everything in between, you'll have no problem reading them. These guys have a wonderfully expressive face that can easily convey whatever they're feeling. But generally, Tibetan Spaniels try to match their mood to their owners. So if you want your Tibby to be in a happy mood, you gotta be in a happy mood in the first place. Number 6. They are essentially house dogs. In Tibet, Tibetan Spaniels are referred to as Simki, which means house dog, room dog, or bedroom dog. This is congruent with their lifestyle as they were bred to keep monks and lamas company in their day-to-day -day lives. As a result, these dogs are very affectionate when it comes to their family members. Having been developed as a companion dog, they are emotional and empathetic to the needs of their owners. This is why you'll always find your Tibby greeting you by jumping into your lap and licking your face after a long day's work. All in all, their portable size makes these dogs suited to any home, from any apartment to state, as long as they have plenty of human attention. Number 7. Small Dog Syndrome There's a potential problem in the strong need for companionship shown by Tibbies. You gotta make sure that you don't over-pamper or over-protect these little dogs from an early age. 
otherwise they're likely to develop what is called the small dog syndrome. This is a human-induced behavior where small dogs who are used to a lot of attention and love will get away with ill behaviors purely because they're small. Such behaviors include jumping up at people, ignoring your commands, barking at visitors, and basically behaving like a spoiled brat. So always remember to give your tibby just enough attention so that they don't go through a destructive phase but not too much attention. Number 8. They're reserved towards strangers. Tibetan Spaniels are not fond of strangers. While they won't exhibit a great deal of aggression, they'll definitely give off loud barks if they are either startled or made to feel uneasy by a stranger. This can be reduced to some extent with proper socialization from a very young age. But even then, these dogs will always be reserved when meeting someone for the first time. In fact, this is a trait that has been encouraged by some breeders who view it as one of the breed's characteristics as a good watchdog. Number 9. The Grooming and Care the Tibetan Spaniel is very easy to groom. Their silky double coat only requires weekly brushing to keep the coat free of loose hair. The hair can shed small amounts year-round, with a heavier shed once or sometimes twice a year. You can bathe them once every six to eight weeks. Other grooming needs are just basic dental hygiene and nail care. Make sure you brush your Tibby's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove tartar buildup and don't forget to trim the nails as needed. If you can hear the nail clicking on the floor, they're too long and they need immediate trimming. Number 10. They're prone to certain health issues The Tibetan Spaniel is more likely to suffer from a number of health issues. One such issue is what is called a portosystemic shunt. This happens when an abnormal blood vessel connecting the blood supply returns from the intestines to the heart and bypasses the liver. When the blood avoids passing through the liver altogether, the blood will not get filtered. Oftentimes, this condition is recognized when a puppy fails to show signs of growth. But since these dogs are naturally small in height, it's likely that you'll miss the symptom in your tibby. Other potential symptoms include weakness, balance problems, and seizures. So if you have a tibby or if you're planning to get one, don't forget to take your pooch for regular veterinary checkups to avoid these issues. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Tibetan Spaniels. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these adorable pups, don't forget to share your experience living with them in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts and different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.